Dutch officers in India. Today, fans believe the game is faster and harder than tennis, its longtime rival. To create the carbon fiber shafts of the badminton rackets, the manufacturer follows a series of meticulously defined production steps. The process begins by tightly wrapping a carbon fiber fabric called prepreg multiple times around a metal cylinder. A worker encases the fabric in plastic to hold the prepreg in place. Then he suspends the cylinders from a rack and rolls them into an oven. The heating process transforms the wrapped prepreg into solid, lightweight, and super strong carbon fiber material. This specialized device removes the cylinder from the carbon fiber, leaving a hollow shaft. Here we can see the stages of production required to create the hollow carbon fiber shaft. In the next stage of production, a worker begins the process of manufacturing the racket frame. She starts with a different formulation of prepreg material, which she folds into thin strips. The key is to make sure each strip is identical. In the next phase, a worker wraps the strip around a purpose-built mold to create the shape of a racket frame. She introduces the carbon fiber shaft into the mold. The racket is taking shape. Another piece of carbon fiber forms the joint between them. The frame-shaped pre-frame carbon fiber then goes into a shaping machine and the lid closes. The shaping machine heats and then cools the prepreg over the course of about 30 minutes. A worker lifts the lid and removes the fully formed racket frame, which has excess resin. Resin holds the carbon fibers together before the curing process. Heating expels the resin, which must then be removed. A narrow bit drills the first sequence of holes in an offset pattern to make the racket easier to string. A larger gauge bit drills holes large enough to permit two strings to pass through. Quality control inspectors choose a racket frame at random to test how much pressure it can bear before it reaches the breaking point. It's finally time to add the wooden handle and cap to the shaft and put everything together. The rackets head for the painting department where they receive a base coat. Then workers meticulously apply a series of decals. The decals soak in water to make it easier to remove the backing. A worker slides each hole over a pin at the base of a nailing machine. The machine nails specially designed grommets into the holes. The grommets are slightly too long to ensure they can be cut perfectly flush to the frame by this machine. In a two-part process, this pressing machine heats and then presses the cut side of the grommets to smooth them out. A worker carefully clamps the racket into a winding machine and brushes glue onto the handle. She then secures one end of the handle wrap at the base and uses a foot pedal to begin turning the racket. Maintaining a steady tension at the correct angle, she winds the wrapping all the way up to the beginning of the shaft. She secures the top end of the wrapping with tape. A laser quickly and accurately burns the product ID number into the shaft. A quality control inspector clamps the completed racket into a precision engineered device designed to measure its weight, swing weight, and balance point with incredible accuracy. The rackets made by this manufacturer come in different sizes suited to every level of badminton player.